Good morning, it's the 24th of August 2010 and this is your Daily Outlook. US and Asian slowdown may hit EU's credit ratings. The dollar traded the day strong but was weakest in Asia as the markets try to rally. Stock markets in the US turned negative on bearish comments from FOMC member Hoeing who expressed concerns about community banks. The markets were also rattled by comments from EU Oli Rain saying that a slowing US and Asia may seriously impact Eurozone growth. Moody's also released a report overnight saying that the slowing global growth may impact Eurozone credit ratings. In the US, the Dow traded down 77 points, closing at 10,174, and the S&P was down 4 points, closing at 1,067. Looking ahead, July existing home sales are forecast at 4.7 million versus 5.37 million previously. Dolly in price action was between 85.46 and 84.84. The euro fell in the US session to month lows but low 1.27 on a Moody's report that slowing growth in the eurozone may prompt rating downgrades. Euro yen also fell below 108 to test multi-year lows below 107.30. Euro dollar traded with a low of 126.22 and a high of 127.31 before closing at 126.40. Looking ahead, quarter two German GDP second reading initially at 2.2% quarter on quarter. Currencies to watch out for, the euro dollar and dollar yen. The euro dollar pivot point is at 126.90, with a preference to enter into short positions at 126.80. The dollar yen pivot point is at 85.30, with a preference to enter into short positions at 85.25. Today's calendar of market movers, Eurozone industrial orders for June expected at 1.5%, U.S. existing home sales for July expected at 4.7 million. And we have the U.S. crude oil inventories coming out for the week. The prior month's reading was down 0.8 million. Now on to equity markets. U.S. equities closed negative yesterday with the SP500 down by 0.4% and the Dow was down by 0.38%. European bursts were positive with the FTSE up 0.76%, the DAX was up 0.1% and the CAC closed up 0.77%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was down 1.33% and the Hang Seng was down 0.02%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click Join Now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.